I was so focused on college studies back then. The last year of my college was very hectic to be honest. It was too late to like start my preparation even in December. It really hit me hard. I used to complete the papers in one hour and it used to take me 3 hours to just correct the papers and just to revise whatever mistakes I've done. There was a point where I nearly failed the internals. It's okay to just pass but it's not okay to fail. I almost uh, used to attend every single lecture even if that was repetitive. So it's always better to start before and it will be a like good revision even if we will get a lot of time to revise the same concepts again and again. It was a really interesting journey. <laughs> All right, hi everyone, and today we are with Ramita. So Ramita is a student at Madras School of Economics, and uh, she did a bachelor's in economics from there. Now she's just made it to both IGIDR and DSE. So firstly, very many many congratulations, Ramita, on this great achievement. Thank you so much, ma'am. All right. So take us through your journey, Ramita. That uh, when you started, what kind of a student would you call yourself? My journey of master's preparation started quite a long back in June, I guess June of twenty twenty four. Hmm. But I wasn't very serious back then uh, to like get to a good university. I was so focused on college studies back then. Till hmm. my, uh, I mean, the last year of my college was very hectic to be honest. So that was when it really hit me hard that I was actually in a college and I have to study something. I used to be consistent in attending the lectures, taking some quizzes and all of that, weekly tests and all of that. But that was not the proper preparation I would call. December I st- I actually started with my basics, made all my concepts clear, and by Jan tenth I made sure that all my uh, like seventy percent of the syllabus was covered properly. So December you are saying that you got serious. Before that you used to just you know attend the class, yeah. do the test yeah. and. But not really. Do so I, I thought I couldn't handle both the college studies and the uh, preparation uh, side by side. Mm. So I focused only on college. When I realized that it, it's too late, it was too late to like start my preparation even in December. It really hit me hard. So I thought I would like start my actual preparation then. So what led you? What led to this? That oh, it's high time now. What am I doing? What led to that? Uh, to be honest, I always had a dream of getting into the colleges, a DSE or ISI. to the top institutes which we would always be proud to call but at one point i it, it felt like i was i was good in uh, what i was doing back then in college but only if i have have the chance to improve myself that can happen only if i get into a good college that was when i thought i i should uh, prioritize this as well so that was the time when i started my proper consistent preparation so by consistent means so what did you mean how much time did you started devoting uh, every day to your entrances for that matter i i'm not a person who can study for so long so i i start my day from uh, like from 4:30 in the morning to 7:30 so those 3 hours were like really precious to me So that was the time I do my basic revision and some papers as well, like what, how many ever possible. Again, in the evenings I used to like check all my uh, papers, past year papers. Yeah, that used to take a lot of time. I used to complete the papers in one hour, and it used to take me three hours to just correct the papers and just to revise whatever mistakes I've done. And sometimes I used to feel the mistakes that I used to do are so brilliant that I cannot even imagine how I ignored those little silly things uh, during my understanding of the concepts. Hmm. So that was that really made a difference. Hmm. So you you did the they're saying post December you followed a strict routine. You revised your basics in the mornings and then you solved the past year papers in the evenings and then you corrected your mistakes which is a very important uh, part of everything that you uh, not just solve the papers but you saw the solutions say that where, where you are going wrong so that you can uh, not make those mistakes later on. Right. Right. So that is a great approach and you know that is really how it should be done. so you you did that <laughs> that is that is nice and uh, what about your college studies like you you know constantly are saying that you know college was very important and you wanted to perform well and it was very hard for you to kind of uh, choose between what should i study should i do my college work should i do my entrance work then uh, post december so then you kind of managed it right because yeah. that is something that everybody struggles they are everybody is like what should i do what should i do should i do this should i not do this should i do this should i not do this so yeah i would say that completely ignoring the college is also not good for no, us that's not possible so it's, it's not possible in the first place there was a point when i i thought it's okay uh, it's okay even if i just pass the exam uh, the college exam and if i get into a good university but there was a point where i nearly failed the internals that that was when i thought it's okay to just pass but it's not okay to fail because i don't get my degree if i fail yeah, so yeah. Uh, that was the time uh, when i thought uh, i have to balance both of the things really well yeah. and the proper blend uh, 
of uh, allotting the time for both of them uh, that happened only after my jam and gate because jam and gate the papers were fine but i did bad like not so bad but i could have done really better so that was the time when i thought i uh, till then i also asked my some uh, asked my seniors and uh, some of my teachers as well uh, ki, what uh, like what kind of strategy should i be following to crack the universities i did follow a few of them but they didn't really help me in like uh, getting through what i want so that was when i i thought okay i'll make up my own strategy such that uh, i involve my college studies in my preparation and make the best out of it. so to be honest in the in the cut paper that i have given this time a lot of questions were from my college uh, courses as well so wow. and edu edu show our indian indian economy indian economy was the subject that i always used to scare uh, get scared the other subjects i gained good uh, grip on them uh, during the classes lectures and the quizzes and the revision sessions doubt sessions all of them but indian economy was the part that Uh, needed a lot of my brain work. Like I should remember a lot of years, a lot of schemes, a lot of lot. So that was the one which uh, which pushed me into thorns. I was not able to remember a lot of things. So uh, and uh, one good thing happened to me was similar kind of portions were even taught in the college. Okay. So it was. So I thought it would be a better idea if I can like mix both of them. I know some of the topics were out of box. a lot of questions were from out of box but but then uh, it was great uh, being curious to know what the, what's going around uh, and that's how i managed indian eco and current affairs which became a lot uh, this uh, this time in cut so yeah. so i somehow like uh, gratefully <laughs> thankfully to everyone like i surpassed the uh, college studies and my uh, target to bsc as well and that is so good to hear i mean uh, that is something that most people uh, want to do that they want to do well in both and like you said you kind of try to blend the two together that what topics are there in the college what topics are there here so let me you know study them together so there's no guilt that i'm not doing one and doing the other so in terms of uh, the hardest part of cvt is of course indian economy only the core subjects are not as hard and not as difficult was there something that you found some trick there or something that you found helped you in the core subjects also definitely the lecture uh, lectures that i attended i almost uh, used to attend every single lecture even if that was repetitive i used to make sure that i attended every lecture every single lecture because one time or the other we would have missed a, even a very little point but to my understanding that might make a lot of difference mm. so i used to make sure that i attend every single lecture and every time i attend a lecture i used to get a new point so that's worth it <laughs> it will be a good revision as well i really think that sometimes the kind of questions that you have to do for entrances is a little is sometimes different from what comes in regular college exams so even if the topic is the same we have to do everything a little mathematically also graphically also you know we need to know the equations of everything and sometimes in college uh, it may not be required so the topics are also dealt a little differently uh, when you have to study for entrances versus when you have to study for college even though the topic may be the same yeah yeah so little differences there this is great help to um, you know understand how you managed your college and your semesters and you you know did well both and uh, you know you were obviously struggling like everyone sometimes you know more focus here sometimes more focus there sometimes scared sometimes not scared not really performing up to your potential in iit so you know you've gone through that entire uh, ups and downs that any child goes through so it's very 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 heartening to hear that you come out of it with flying colors you started quite on time right you started quite in the beginning and a lot of people with cuet don't do that they want to they think cuet at the chill we'll do it later we'll do it in october we'll do it in december uh, you know why so early so did you think that also mattered that you had uh, enough time you were not scared or you were not pressed of pushed for time because uh, like you said you attended all the classes so things were going in only so when you kind of pushed the pedal in december there was already already a background you had something to fall back on right so you think that helped you that you started so much earlier definitely a great start if we if you are taking a if you are starting a preparation much before like a new before mm -hmm. because the uh, the college life might uh, might cause some some of the other hindrances i mean in an indirect way as well because we cannot ignore college and uh, it may not be possible for us all the time uh, to keep a track of everything that's happening every day so it's always better to start before and it will be a like good revision even if we will get a lot of time to revise the same concepts again and again but for different exams 
and mm. we will know how to approach different questions differently if we have time mm. we'll, we'll have a good uh, space for us to think on what actually we need to focus absolutely. on absolutely absolutely and uh, so to end this uh, ramita for you it was a long journey right journey of one year uh, finally culminating what is the most memorable part of you know this uh, this journey for you i would say every day was memorable for me because every day i used to attend lectures every day i used to go back to my room saying that i've learned something new saying that i had really i've got a lot of fun during even during classes even if they're scolding i'm really happy that i get scolded <laughs> I mean, it's. I feel so uh, nice if some uh, if someone genuinely uh, correct my mistakes and scolds me because that was the time when you actually feel so connected with your teacher and with your subject as well. So, so if maths me, it's like mostly every day. I just ask random questions. So, but it was great learning a lot, and Adyushar has helped me stay consistent. Like yeah. I used to study every day, like from December. uh so it was great it was a really enriching journey okay thank you so much ramita and thank you so much for sharing your story so that everybody who's in this journey you know scared what to do how to manage kind of get some inspiration that if if we segregate our time just like you did that kind of is the key to be able to do both well which you which you did very well thank you ma'am thank you